We're here with the entire Bear the Bodies and Gas crew at Hide Yamagishi and Iris Kyle's powerhouse gym here. Not quite as busy as Flex's gym yesterday, which is good. We're gonna be able to hit some legs, maybe some supersets. And uh, I like the equipment for leg extensions here. What brand it is? God, how do you pronounce that? Exevo gear or something? I don't know, but it feels good. So I wanna swap it up and try something completely different today for legs. So let's see if we're crawling around by our lips in Vegas for the rest of the duration here. Hope so, hope so. Um, no excuses. I had no excuses yesterday. No excuses. Did I have a go or not? You had a go, man. Yeah. You had a go. That's the key. When you get off the plane, best way to, I believe for me, to remove jet lag is to get in, have a tough workout. That way you're gonna have a better sleep. And I did have a better sleep last night. I was surprised actually how I slept through to about 6 a.m. But the key is as soon as you get off the plane, go hard until you go to bed and it just starts to bring your circadian rhythm to where it needs to be in order to wake up the next day and have a workout. How's it going, brother? Good to see you, my Good man. You. I'll uh, come and catch up with you after you've trained with clients. Putting on a bit of size, ways. Yeah, packing it on. Getting bigger. Getting bigger. If you've heard it from him, it must be true. <laughs> All right, in a bit, buddy. It's a valid statement now. Huh? It's a valid yeah, statement. Yeah, it's, it's good. I'm about 220 now. It's at 100 Ks. It's over 100 kilos. I got up to 132. Got up to 132 because I kept on I kept on getting on the scales every week and I thought it's probably plateaued now. Get on the scales, go up. Then the next week it'd go up. I'm like, what the fuck? Can't believe my body was reacting so well. So I feel fuck. I need to dial it down, lean it out a little bit. So I'm probably going to drop another five five pounds. That's how we go. We go hard or we go home. Talk about like the get in, little injuries, niggling injuries. What do you think about that? How do you train around it? And everyone shouldn't make the excuse of not being able to train around injuries, right? Fuck, I'm cutting plastered and plastered in injuries. But how often does it happen? I see it all, like all the time. Obviously, I've got a big gym. People come in, they go, I can't train. And I go, well, you can train. Yeah, it's just, it's, pe it's just people have, they live under very short ceilings. They have major limitations. Because how many people say, oh, I couldn't do my cardio today? Why? Because it was raining outside. I'm like, what? Yeah. Or oh, I missed a meal. Why? Oh, because I couldn't warm it up. Are you yeah. kidding me? Yeah. It's like, it's embarrassing. I'm like, fucking hell, I, you shouldn't even call yourself a human because you're related to me. <laughs> you know? 100%. Can't take you anywhere. I think this one was serious, actually. <laughs> Don't answer it. Well, it might you, be you're in the gym. Doesn't matter. Hi, this is Sybil. All right, she's not training with us. There's no fucking way okay. I will allow okay. that in my workout. Two. <clears throat> <laughs> what did we just talk about? Yeah, exactly. Fucking hell, man. I ate mine you fucking frozen yesterday. Yeah, he was eating frozen meat. And she's like, I I'm calling for a pot. <laughs> Can't eat mine cold, I'm a millennial. Hey, did you enjoy it? It's warm? Yeah, it's nice, yeah. We're just but fucking I... talking about you already fucked up, man. You're out. <laughs> yeah, Can she's on the phone. <laughs> You're out. Fucking warming up meals. <laughs> I can't come out because it's raining. Hey, I went out when it's raining. How important is it for your mental state? Train, get healthy, feel better about yourself. Like, mental health, you can see it's starting to, it's on a decline. Yeah. And, you know, a lot, a lot of the people that I, that I help out, I'm sure you're the same. Um, it sets up your day, it sets up every action you take. If, if you see someone that's successful and they, you see them out of shape, what do you see and what do you think about? There's an internal struggle because they're showing 
they're, they don't have f full balance. They're, 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 I guess, segregating all their discipline there instead of spreading it out to what's most important. And it's not that materialistic possession, it's not that wife, it's not the car, it's not the fucking job or the pay raise. It's their fucking health that matters. You know, that's something that you cannot disregard. And, uh, you know, you, you, if, without your health, you don't have a home. You don't have happiness. You don't have fucking anything. And the struggles that you have in the gym, 85%, I believe, 85% is related to every part of your life. So if you're losing 85% of a chunk of your life, how can you feel better about the actions you take? How can you have the fulfillment that you need? Exactly. You have a fulfilling life if you fulfill yourself here. Well, so much, so much more. Yeah. I'm going to do the stack on the next one and have a crack. But I think half the reasons why his clients have you know, mental health issues is because he's helping them. Hundred <laughs> <laughs> percent. Yeah, I mean, if he just left them alone, they'd probably be fine. Good. another plate. There you go, man. Come on. Good. Good, yes. Good. Yes, I got you. I got you. You got this, mate. Take it to 20. Push. That's all you. That's all you. Got one more. Drive. Yes, good. You're in. Good thing about pushing it so hard. Like this, especially in Vegas, where everyone goes the other way. I feel so much better about the control, the discipline, which really equals freedom. So that's very, very important to me because that's what I feel true happiness is when you have the discipline, the freedom to control your outcomes by your actions. And again, there's two more there. Two more. That's why we're doing another set. Take him off.
Well, I'm on that. I'm on that route anyway. Oh, I'm still exchange. Yeah, about two years time, I won't have any here anyway. <laughs> Should record him. He's fucking laughing his ass off. Isn't he? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> That's it, we are dead, buddy. Legs, calves, and abs. And uh, would it take us about an hour and a half, I guess, to get that done. It wasn't bad because I was trying to suck in oxygen in between some of those compound sets. But I feel good that I got it done because chest was going to be the original plan here but I wasn't too keen on the chest equipment here. Um, so I figured let's do legs. And for the most part, leg equipment was okay. I just didn't like the hamstring curls. One felt like it had like uh, not enough tension at the bottom. And the other one felt like it just didn't stretch far enough. This one here, the standing hamstring curl was okay, but just no, I wasn't too keen on the lion ones, but all the other stuff, not bad, there's plenty to choose from, you know, for legs. So, good session. Now it's time for a shake and time for some food.